Oh my god. What is it? The king is dead! That's right, the king is dead! Now, to find out who'll succeed him, would one please put one's hands together and make a right royal noise for the king's most trusted servants, Simon Bird, Nick Mohammed, and Katie Wicks! <laughs> Sit down, everyone. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, it is with a heavy heart that I have to announce the death of our beloved monarch, the king. Oh. Now, usually, of course, when a monarch dies, you'd simply move on to the next in line to the throne. But unfortunately, uh, Katie's actually misplaced the piece of paper with the line of succession on it. And some jewels. <laughs> yes, I've also lost the main jewels. She's a bit. So, it looks like we're going to have to start from scratch. We need to find a new king, and we have to move fast, cos while the throne is empty, the people of Britain are out there totally unsupervised. Nick, what's going on outside? <laughs> Where's me legs in there? <laughs> See what I mean? As we all know, heavy is the head that wears the crown, so we need someone with a massive head. And who's got a bigger head than three puffed-up quasi-celebrities? One of these pricks is going to be the next king! <laughs> Our first candidate once worked as a medieval serving wench at a London nightclub. It's former royal correspondent, Jenny Bond. <laughs> Our next applicant was born Michael Louis Vincent. It's Pop Svengali and former altar boy, Louis Walsh. <laughs> Our final job seeker describes herself as a freelance journalist. Everyone else describes her as the daughter of Richard and Judy. It's Chloe Madeley. <laughs> One of you will be the next king. 